This is a demonstration of the Node Access JavaScript. We use two advanced multi-selects in it. To make sure we don't display too much information at the same time, we have hidden the selects behind these two tabs over here. So we have users and we have groups. To keep an overview of what has been selected, we display it on top over here. So let's explain the access level. Public means everyone can see it. The lowest level is private, means only I can see it, and everything between it is a hierarchically ordered. When we select a user, same with groups, we need to select a specific user or a specific group to audience it to. So what will happen is that this submit button gets disabled. So let's select groups, get disabled. So now we need to go to group and we need to add one and the submit button gets back again. So notice it gets out of the suggestion list and into the selection list. Same if we remove it, it gets back in there. Now, with groups we don't allow a free input. This is the case in users, but of course we don't allow any kind of input. This won't be allowed because we want real users. We get suggestion and we can add this. Now in case of free select, if you remove it, of course it doesn't get into the selections. So in case you add some that's already in the suggestions, it will get removed out of the suggestions. And of course if you then get it back out of it, it, get, it keeps on being in the suggestions. So let's add of course a router again. So now it will add two, because I selected two. Now let's see the advanced part. Just like the display, every time you add something, for example, let's add delete three shaken, it will also get updated down here in the advanced, like this. The advanced is created to give a specific type of access. For example, I want everyone in a funny group to see my post. I trust Bart very well, so I also give him edit rights. And Tricia, she's not in the uh, funny list, but I also want to show it to her. So this is the way to do it. And then you go 